Having the morning routine is cool now, you know. You wake up, do your face routine, you do your thing. Now you set up for the day. But what about when the day is over? How are you setting yourself up to win tomorrow? Because it's not always about how you start your day. But it's about how you finish. Chapter 1. Lab work. Got it in the night, right? So you know we in the lab with it. Let's get this work. Okay, to start off, we're doing some ball handling with the heavy ball. I'm just working on different combo moves and different moves I would do in game with the heavy ball to challenge me. After using the heavy ball, basketball really feels like a balloon to me now. Now it's time to get all our finishing badges and we're working on that downhill work, doing different combo moves and finishing different type of ways. Look, if you're not making mistakes during your workouts, then you're not going hard enough, man. You see, I had to get it back real quick. It's low-key been a minute since I hooped, so I want to see if I still had it. Let me know what y'all think. This right here will help me get a faster release after doing the move. So I'll do three in a row, pull up. Right here is very simple. Just doing a curl into a mid-range jumper. Nothing crazy to this one. Now this is where I add different moves to my bag. As you see, this is the LeBron special. I know LeBron be looking at that ball before he pull up. Just sharpening up my favorite move right here, which is a hezzy pull up. Then I took a page out of John Morant's book and doing this move right here. But instead of dunking on people, I'm just gonna take a jumper. Gotta polish up that triple threat, get some job work in. Then right here, we really just freestyling, working on different bag moves and being creative with what we got in our bag. And yeah, that's all we gonna do for our on the court work. Now it's time to head home, we gone. First thing I do when I come home is I make sure I wash these hands, man. You can't bring these outside germs inside your temple. Then it's time to finish our day nice and strong. We jumping in the bed and we done. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all thought we was finished? Nah, man, it's time to put in some pain. Let's get to it. Chapter two, putting in pain. All right, y'all, so we about to do a full body workout. I did not get a chance to go to the weight room today, so that is why I'm doing the at-home workout. And we starting off with some push-ups. And we setting up the pull-up bar, and we doing it the right way. Y'all know we got to get right with some pull-ups, one of my favorite exercises. I'm trying to get that Dorito back. I would definitely recommend investing in the pull-up bar. I can't tell you how many times I'll be bored and I'll just bust out some pull-ups. And as you see, now we're using the pull-up bar to get these dips in. Y'all see that tricep working, man. We're not playing with it. After hitting upper body, we're gonna hit this ab circuit real quick. We're gonna start it off with some leg lifts. Now we got flutter kicks. And we're gonna finish it off with some bicycle crunches. Yes, sir. Let's get the lower body right. You cannot skip legs. All we got is some lunges. Then we're gonna hit some explosive squats. Then we got glute bridges with a single leg, man. gonna feel that pain as you can see I'm feeling that pain right here hey man y'all see we just put in some quick pain look y'all see we only use minimum equipment all we use was the pull-up bar but there's no excuse if you're at your crib 
you can find a way to put in pain. So that's just a quick full body work. No excuse to why you cannot get that work in. So make sure y'all boys getting that work in, man. Come on. Chapter three, refuel. That was some good housework. We definitely earned our dinner. It's time to eat, man. Come on now, y'all know we gotta stay healthy with it. We got rice, chicken, and broccoli on the menu tonight. As you can see, we dogged that plate, man. Chapter four, handsome man routine. Usually while I do my handsome man routine, I like to listen to an audiobook instead of music. That way I'm always learning. But y'all know we just ate, so I gotta floss and get all that broccoli out my teeth. This right here is what separates boys from men. A good skincare routine. One thing my dad taught me specifically growing up is to make sure that you always have good hygiene. So that's why I'm always making sure my face is clean, making sure that I'm always on point, smelling good, looking right. But it's not only about washing your face, you gotta keep your face moisturized. This way my face can always look and feel smooth, man. Here I use different oils and different things to keep my face nice and hydrated and nice and smooth. Yeah, I also got a hair care routine. Gotta make sure these dreads on point, making sure my scalp is healthy. As well as the beard, y'all see we growing the beard out. I'm looking crazy with no cut right now. It's all good though, we gonna be back in motion. Later. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into being a handsome man. But we not done, now it's time to wash the body. All right, right here, I'm gonna show y'all some products I use on a daily that help me look good, feel good, and smell good. But yeah, man, these are some of the products that I use. I would recommend talking to your doctor and doing your own research before buying any of these products. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to you if you try these products, man. I'm, this is just what I use. I am not sponsored by any of these products, but if y'all try and smile, see your boy, the email is open. Chapter five, cook time. This is the time of the night where I focus, I lock in, no distractions, and I go to work. You already know what time it is, it's time to put in some pain. So this is the time where I focus on different content ideas, different content strategies, improving my editing skills, improving my storytelling, just different things like that. I also take time to reply to y'all comments, reply to emails. Look, I've been seeing y'all comments, man. Y'all been going crazy. I appreciate all y'all who comment and all y'all who take time to support me, man. It means a lot to me, and I'm truly blessed to be able to have y'all. I think this is the first video I'm posting since I hit 20K, and I just want to come on here and say thank you guys, man. Every time I look, 20,000 people mess with me or rock with me or what I got going on. It's a blessing, man, and all glory to God. I thank all you guys who subscribe, who tune in, all you guys who comment and show love, man. It's a blessing, like, the way I think about it, I just think about 20,000 people was in front of me, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, that would feel crazy, so I'm just blessed to be able to have a platform where I share my stuff with y'all, so, if you're watching this and you're not one of those 20,000 people, you, you, you might wanna subscribe, man. Chapter six, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Start off, I like to write some W's and some L's and just journal real quick about my day, write stuff down, and then I'll write my to-do list for tomorrow, so make sure I'm going into my day with intention. Make sure all my devices are charged. Then I get my clothes ready for tomorrow, but as y'all can see, we got Shock Troop. Link will be in the description if you guys wanna support me and my merch. We got hoodies, shirts, all different type of colors, man. So make sure you tap in. So I decided to go with this tech suit right here, which you can find on the website. Then for the pants, we just going with some regular joggers. Y'all know we gotta rock some good feet, so I got the Taxi 12s on deck. I don't know about y'all, but my mama always taught me make sure I have everything prepared the night before just in case something happens. Chapter 7. Finishing strong. It's always important to end your day strong, just like how you started. So y'all know I gotta get that Bible work in, man, and just continue to learn God's word and apply it to my life. The 
And after I finish reading the Bible, I get on my knees, repent for my sins, and thank God for allowing me to live another day. Amen. Having a daily night routine that works for you is one of the best possible things you can do for yourself. This way, you set yourself up for success the next day and wake up the best version of yourself. Just take it day by day, G. Love, Reek. Thank you.